hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching in today's video i will be sharing with you guys some farmhouse bathroom decor diys my first diy is this set of three wall decor from dollar tree i will be using this decal and two different sizes of jumbo popsicle sticks some are from dollar tree and some are from Lowe's. the first thing i will be doing is measuring how many sticks i need to make this ship lap frame i will be making two frames out of the Lowe's jumbo popsicle sticks and one frame out of the dollar tree jumbo popsicle sticks Here I am doing the frame out of the Dollar Tree Jumbo Popsicle Sticks. I use 8 to make the ship black back and 2 of the bigger ones for the sides. I am cutting the sides of the 2 sticks and then gluing them on top of the other ones. <laughs> and this is how it looks the other two frames that i will be doing i will be using the Lowe's jumbo sticks i am using eight for each frame six for the back and two on the sides After I am done gluing them together, I am going to paint them with a white acrylic paint. And for the sides, I will be using the antique wax. I dry painted the sides with the white. Once they are dry, I will be adding the stickers. The last thing I did was added some drawstring to the back so I can hang them. My second DIY is this toilet paper holder. For this DIY, I will be using five of these beads. And from Dollar Tree, I will be using the decor sign and toilet plunger. I painted the back of the sign white to cover the pumpkin. I also painted the inside and the sides with the antique wax. I will be painting the beads and the plunger black. The next thing I will be doing is drilling this screw so it can hold the plunger. The last thing I added was one bead at the top and four beads at the bottoms for the legs. My third DIY is this bath sign. 
for this DIY I will be using this paper I got from Michaels it was 69 but I got them back when they were four for a dollar I am also using this picture frame I got from Dollar Tree and some poster letters I am going to remove the the plastic and the string that is across it that it's holding the two little clips Next, I'm going to paint this or dry paint it actually with the white acrylic paint. I cut the paper to the size of the frame and then I'm going to glue it. I'm using my regular Elmer's glue. You can use Mod Podge if you want, but it works with just the Elmer's glue. I put the back back on the frame then I'm putting bath using the poster stickers and I'm using this wreath so like that it can be nice and straight leave it like that so it can look nice and simple but I decided to add this greenery I got from a Hobby Lobby bush and that is it for this DIY My fourth project is not really a DIY. All I'm doing is putting together this basket and I'm using this little wood thing that I got a long time ago from Michaels. It was 27 cents. It was from the clearance section and I'm using the Dollar Tree little letters and put towels on the small wood piece. After I am done doing that, I will be gluing this piece to the crate. And that is it for this little crate. You can put in the hand towels or face towels. My last DIY is this shelf with towel bar. From Dollar Tree, I will be using two of these metal hangers. I'm reusing this Easter DIY and a Dollar Tree plunger. I did have to cut the sign smaller. I also wanted to show you that if you don't have that, you can use this um, sign, the Dollar Tree signs. These are long enough and you can use these, but since I had this wood piece, I decided to use the wood piece instead. To cover this, I will be using the black acrylic paint. This will be the bottom of the shelf. So I'm painting this black. And then for the top part, the other side, I will be using the antique wax. I am also painting the plunger stick with the same antique wax. These hangers already have holes, but these are gonna be used to hang them to the wall. So you can do more holes on the other side of the hangers to put this shelf, but I didn't wanna do that. So I'm going to glue mine instead and I will be using a combination of hot glue and the E6000. And 
And that is it. This was so easy and simple to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And see you next time. Bye.